Well, hello, my friends. It's Steve Wise here with you for The Wise Word. Uh, today's been a great day for me. I've been really just uh, spending time seeking the Lord and praying and uh, asking God about certain things in my life that I want to change. There's areas in my life that, that I need change in. I don't know about you, but I need some change in some areas. And, and the Holy Spirit dropped this scripture in my heart today. And I want to share it with you, and I'll try to do it as fast as I can. I know people don't like long videos, but it was in Hebrews chapter 4. As I was during a time of prayer, this thought came to me. This scripture came to my heart, and I trust it was the Holy Spirit. Paul was writing here, and he said to the, the Hebrew Christians, For indeed the gospel was preached to them as well as to us. But the word that they heard did not profit them. It didn't profit what they heard because it wasn't mixed with faith in those who heard. So they heard something preached. They heard about the good news. The fact the gospel means the good news. It's good news that Jesus Christ laid his life down for you and me, my friend, that we can be saved for eternity. And when we believe in the gospel, we believe in what Christ did on that cross 2,000 years ago, there has to be an action that we take on our part. And the scripture says in Romans 10, if we confess Jesus with our mouth, if we speak and we say, Jesus is my Lord, Jesus is Lord, the scripture says that we receive salvation, we receive eternal life by simply believing and saying with our words, Jesus is Lord. Well, the same thing comes about when we're wanting to change other things in our life, certain areas in our life. We desire for God to bring more blessing or possibly healing or uh, maybe in a family situation, in our body and that we're being challenged with. There's some things in my body that I'm being challenged with, that I'm praying and believing God for healing and speaking that I am healed by his stripes. I'm going to say that because faith, faith is actually twofold. When you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, it says, the spirit of faith believes correctly and speaks correctly. When we're going through challenges and troubles and trials, which this world gives us many, no doubt about it, the fact is that we may be going through the challenge, but the truth is Jesus Christ has delivered us. He has already made a resolution for that problem. He's already fixed that problem in the spirit world. And it's for you, up to you and me to call that, that in, to speak that in by believing that we are healed, that we are blessed, that we are prospered. We do have peace. We do have joy. We do have strength. We do have direction. We have wisdom. It's up to us to believe that, that God's already given it to us and to begin speaking that. And the reason why the gospel message didn't profit these Hebrew Christians, as Paul was writing here in chapter 4, was because they didn't mix it with the action of faith. Faith, believing and speaking the word of God, things in line with the word. Pete, Paul also tells us at the end of Philippians, he said, think on the things that are lovely, gentle, kind, things that are of a good report, things that are beautiful. You know, really and truly, my friend, if we're walking in faith, when we're really walking in faith, there's a joy that this world can't give, nor can this world take it away. No matter what we face, we can know that God is with us. He's not going to abandon us. If we've made Jesus Christ the Lord of our life, God will never leave us nor forsake us, no matter what you're going through, my friend no matter what I'm going through. It doesn't matter. I want you to know we can have an abundance of joy in Christ Jesus when we walk in faith. So we need to mix what we hear, the things we hear, we need to mix it with our believing correctly and speaking correctly. If things aren't going right, we just say, Lord, I thank you. You're going to work out all things together for my good. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My friend, I want you to know this is serious business. We have an enemy out there that wants to kill, steal, and destroy from us, our lives, our children. 
But no, 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 no. I quote Isaiah 54 all the time over my kids. All my children are taught of the Lord, and great is the peace of my children. And you know what, my friend? I'm seeing it come to pass. My kids are facing challenges too, but I'm seeing God work in their life in a great way, just like he can in yours. Well, God bless you, my friend. If you want to become more a part of my ministry, a partner with me, go to stevewise.com and you can help me out there. God bless you in the name of Jesus, because he is Lord. Amen.